Winter's in full swing. Today, we're gonna make a heated jacket. No sewing for under 20 bucks. So you can run it off your Makita, your DeWalt, your Milwaukee, or even just a cheap little power bank. So if you've ever priced out those heated jackets by DeWalt, Milwaukee, or even Makita, you know how expensive they can be. 200 plus, you know, 300 bucks. And the funny thing is, it doesn't cost that much to actually do it. You can get the actual heating elements that are inside those for under 20 bucks. And that's what this is. Push a little button, lights up, has just a standard little USB. So you don't even have to use their brand. So you can actually just use like a phone charger. So this is the heating element setup. It kind of looks complicated, but it's really not. Each one of these get, you know, nice and warm to the touch when they're powered by just a USB, I guess it'd be an A port. So I popped over to the local Costco and this was on clearance for 20 bucks. You know, it's a Levi's jacket, nice enough jacket. It'll work just fine. And it's in the price range, which is good. So all we have to do is insert these underneath this layer. There's actually two layers to, this, to most coats. And you got your outside sh you know, shell and you got your inside liner. So we just have to insert it between the liner and the coat. I'm gonna put everything on the inside of the jacket. I don't really want it on the outside. I don't really care. So I'm gonna put it by the inside pocket. And this, I mean, you could run it to a side pocket. You could, I'm just gonna leave it inside this pocket as well. You know, so I'm just gonna cut this apart with my knife uh, right on the seam. I'm gonna try to do it as small as possible just so I can work with it. Maybe we'll leave the tag in. That should probably be ample. Okay. I'm just going to start, I'm just going to start tucking them in there. You can see how crappy the inside of a coat and stuff looks like this. I cut off any loose threads, nothing. Doesn't matter. Okay, the glue I'm going to use, like, they sell fabric glue. I'm just going to use shoe glue. It'll bond. It won't let it move. Some of this I can't really show you because I'm just going to be reaching my hand in. But essentially, I'm going to take this and this one. These are my right chest, so I need to get those all the way up into here. I'm going to put it this side facing the body this side facing out um so i'm going to reach in there so i'm going to put some shoe goo just around the edges and just put it up in there and then if i need to glue the wire in any position that i think i might put some on there as well but i'm going to have it all bunched up as i try to get this just right up about right where that pocket is it's very rubbery very resilient this will not come out once you got on there you read the reviews on these things and people are complaining that they're not just they expect these things just to be like a little furnace you know just you expect them to be like 300 degrees but no they just get like warm where's that pocket at it'll probably set up you know where it's not going to pop off in 20 minutes that's it there's one this one I'm going to put put down with a pocket. I think I'm going to do this one sideways. The other one I did like this. This one will be sideways. Wherever that pocket is. Right there. Right there. This is your neck, you know, back of your neck, just each shoulder blade. And we'll do these across, two across the, uh, we'll do, we'll go a little bit higher. We'll do the mid back. Because down here, the jacket usually just kind of flares out where your back arches. So maybe like this. So I'll glue those in and we'll go from there. And so the button I'm going to bring from the inside. I think I'm going to, the whole outside is, it's, it looks like it's silicone. And it's meant to be sewn in, usually on the outside of the jacket. I don't want it on the outside jacket. I think I want it about right here. And then I'm going to pop this into the side of this pocket. I'll just um, cut a little bit of a hole right on the inside of this pocket just so I can run the USB th through. And they have this little, um, I guess, stopper so it doesn't go through too far. I, I think you're supposed to actually sew this as well. So I might glue that in there. I don't know how far out I want, but maybe I actually want this to come out as far as possible. So if you wanted to put a big power battery pack, I could run it and just stick it down in this pocket. Um, I don't know. 
I guess I could actually even cut a hole uh, through here into the uh, into this side pocket, and so I could stick it in there as well. But I think I want to keep everything on the chest because I'm probably just going to use something like this that sits right there. I'm just going to cut an X for each one of those corners. Do we got it? I think it's about the right size. Maybe a little bigger. Let's pop from the inside. We'll fold all these edges back. Just give myself a clean look. And I'll play around with this for a minute. So I'm just going to fold all these edges back with, and glue them. I just keep going and then slowly just glue this, this button in. I lied to you guys. I did sew a little bit. I decided to sew this on. I couldn't get the, um, the shoe goo cup kind of just globbing around and wasn't holding this in place. It doesn't bond to the silicone as well, but it would bond and... Technically, you don't even need to sew this in. You could just put tuck this in the pocket with the cable. But then I only have this one cable left that runs directly from that switch. So everything runs to the switch in this big old bundage, bundle of wire. And then from that switch, it comes over. So I poked a hole from the inside of that pocket over. So this should lead right into this pocket. Yep, see? And then, have this whole thing in there. I'm gonna pull even this little stop thing through. So I have as much cable as possible into there. And now this, I just kinda split the seam. You could sew this back up or you could just actually just put some glue in there real fast. Just put a little shoe glue in there and it'd seal it right up. You know, just take this. Probably a good idea because it'll hold the cables as well. Let's take some glue, just smear it across there. Just kind of keep ourselves a little tension on that cable just so it doesn't get pulled. And that'll dry in 15 minutes and seal all that stuff back up. Now what we have left is this uh, seam so that we split open. It's already, you know, it's already folded and everything exactly how we need it. So I'm just going to run a little bit of glue down one side and just push it together and we'll be good. Don't even need to sew that. You actually couldn't really sew it very well anyway because it's an inside seam. And we'll probably smear a little bit of glue and not get it perfect, but it's a work coat. If you're worried about how it looks from the inside... It's not a work coat. So I'm going to take this out tomorrow and it's probably going to get a big old glob of grease on the front of it. So don't really care. The whole process to about now took has taken me maybe 20 minutes. Um, that's it. Let that sit up for a minute. But that won't you won't be able to open that back up. So how am I going to run it? You can actually, uh, there's a whole bunch of different options. Uh, one is you can get a USB you know, essentially outlet for pretty much any tool brand out there. This right here is a an adapter. So this adapter will allow you to run Milwaukee or DeWalt tools on a Makita or batteries on a Makita tool. So you can use either one of these batteries on a Makita tool, which is kind of nice, but it comes with a USB port as well. So I could actually run this. Kind of bulky though, you know. Some of them actually have the USB port on the back. But that's pretty slim line. But you could run this off this. Uh, push it and hold it for a second. Boom. It's going to start heating up all those zones. That's high, medium, low, high, medium, low. What it seems to do is actually on high, it's on all the time. On medium, it turns itself on, off, on, off. And low, it's just on, off, on. So, you know, just to regulate the temperature. I've left them on for quite a while and they never get hot, hot, you know, but it'll definitely produce some heat. So I'm going to leave this, I'm going to put this on high. We're going to run it. It's been on for about two minutes without me wearing it. Oh, wow. That feels fantastic. The arms and the sleeves are 40 degrees just because it's been sitting out in the shop, but... Oh yeah, you can feel, 
the, the pockets are warm where I put those things and you can feel it just you push it against your body and feel it against the shoulder blades well that feels great what do you think of that Say something witty or smart. You look like a professor or something. Yeah? Hmm.